As you all know, attacking in Siege is difficult. I asked you how do you feel about attacking and most of you said it depends on the map, on the stack, and if you're solo queuing or not. But the votes were more towards difficult. Now, I want to make every single Siege player good at attacking, so even if you're solo queuing, you look at your random teammates and realize, oh, this guy probably watched Sinus videos. He knows what he's doing. I'm going to focus on important details, such as where to push, what angles you should cut off, and when should you rotate. Let me know how much you learned from this one at the end of the video, and don't forget to drop a like so your bot randoms can watch this one as well. All right, the first step is to know where they are, which is easy. You check a couple of rooms and based on sound, you can figure out where they are. Second step is to bring the useful operators for that bomb site and map. First thing about reinforced walls, do you need to open them? Do you also need full breachers like Ace and Termite or no? Secondary hard breach on operators like Bok, Ying, Capito will do the job. Since you thought about hard breach, do you also need EMPs, nades, or soft breach to get rid of the charges or no? Then you also want to bring operators like Lion, Sledge, Bug, and so on. And then you get to some optional picks like if you want to play Monty or just play Finca with nades and help your team with heals. I'm sure you all know this part very well. Just remember that. Why you lose games is because you're so selfish and lazy to play operators that are far more useful. So you pick whatever you want with no intention of helping your team. So obviously your chances for winning games will be low. Step number three is to save your drones and choose your spawn on where you want to push. Save your drones either outside of that room or inside hidden because you can do so much more with two drones so please don't just lose it in prep phase you can use one of your drones for flank watch for getting more info or getting free kills sometimes you can bring bravo so on a map like chalet use default cams in the map to get the info you need your spawns have to be perfect because if it's wrong place you will be wasting time and you might get spawn picked so be careful with that you don't want to throw rounds now every attack has two pushes either you go for direct push which is close to side or you take control of other side and clear the roamers and force them out of their position based on what operators are playing and what info you get you can decide which push is easier to do and then call it out to your team don't be just deaf talk to your team now you get into position time to attack the most important thing to do is to cut off angles you can't just push through the doors and windows when you have nothing breached when you didn't apply any pressure because then killing you is easier for defenders so first apply pressure from everywhere and then get into map to make it understandable here's an example on coastline bathroom hatch is open hall of fame door is open vip wall is open as well so this means no one can play in vip or penthouse this is what you want to do on on all the other maps. So if you find yourself lost in the round, see if you are applying pressure from every single area or not. See why defenders are comfortable and find a way to make them uncomfortable. Wait, one in VIP, in VIP. Wait, 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 wait. I can't wall back. Please, 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 please. Yeah, VIP is clear. Okay, wait, wait, wait. He's in VIP, what do you mean? I want to put it away. He goes away. Where is guy? Back in the hallway. Careful, they have C4s probably below. Can we come? It's hallway, in hallway. In hallway. Is that all we did? Now you will probably get into a bit of trouble trying to cut off angles because obviously people you play against are not dumb. They will also try to keep the walls closed or deny info and your objective is to use your utility so you can get rid of their utility. Again, this is making your way to the side easier. Let me show you an example on cafe and I know so many people have problems with cafe attack. Yeah, there's a there's a there's a there's on this wall. I can't can, can get, can get it, I can't get it, I can't get it. Oh, it's on the co in the corner. I yeah, got it. Yeah. I'm yeah. ready on the window with my sledgehammer. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. No one mini bar. Wait. Oh, okay. oh, no. Close you. Close you. Close you. Close you. Close your window. Yep. Dead. Dead. Uh, couches. 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 Behind the sofa. As you saw, we took care of utility. We applied pressure from everywhere, and it wasn't only me and my duo, but also our random teammates. Which is really good, and defenders got super uncomfortable playing piano and holding us down. Now, there is something here that we are missing. Controlling your flank is super important. Most of the times, you're halfway through everything, and just a stupid flank destroys the whole attack. So on cafe, do not open the wall first. Drop down from the hatch, cover the flank with Nomad, Gridlock, Claymore, and then open the wall. As you see on Night Heaven, this window can be our flank, and it's not covered. Not until we open the breach, and our termite is gone. And basically, the whole attack is destroyed. I want to focus on this stage of attack more, because it's not this easy. 100 different things can happen, and you can just cut off angles or put pressure on your enemies. One example is on coastline. We are stuck. There's a cade on the wall, we have no EMPs. So I go below to get it, and this takes time, but you can't stress. Now look at this. As soon as I start shooting from below, my do pushes in and kill the kid who was distracted but he plays it safe you don't want to give away your life so easy on attack stay alive but get control get kills as we go on ash is cutting off white stars rotate so anyone roaming can't fall back this is one other thing you want to do on other maps as well after two minutes we are still trying to get into map and you see my duo droning vip but not theater make sure you're not misjoning check corners check every room this one little mistake can cost you the round but thankfully warden was terrible this is another example of getting into trouble because they have a rotate which makes it hard to push this guy playing this corner let's see what happens uh, how can we kill this? Do you have do you have smokes? I have plenty. I have plenty. I do, yeah. You have to smoke the rotate so you can push this guy. You can smoke it, push in, and I'm holding your door. 
Is there a lion? You have to push, you have to push now. Nice. Nice, I got that guy. If you don't deal with your problems with strategy, you are putting yourself in a disadvantage like this. It's closer, closer, closer. Half, 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 half. No. Now, there's something we still haven't covered. Sometimes you and your teammates find yourself all on one side of the map. You don't want that. This is keeping defenders comfortable. They just aim and look towards one way of the map, not two or three. On coastline, you hold the VIP side you took and you keep taking aqua side. So at the end, you can pinch the whole defense. And as always, it's better to be ready for refrags. And necessarily, it doesn't have to be horizontal push. It can be vertical. So now defenders have to look up and front. Attacking kitchen on maps like Stadium, Night Heaven, Coastline, Cafe, they all can be so much better if you apply pressure from above, but only if you don't get C4'd. Yeah, attacking is hard, but once you keep doing these steps over and over again in your games, you become the master. One of the things you usually forget is watching flank camps once in a while. I'm talking about when you're alive, not dead. You should get out of tunnel focus zone and think about two or three things at the same time. While you're playing, keep saying with yourself, is everything under control? Am I doing everything right here? I can't stop giving points about attacking since there are lots of things to cover. On a map like Skyscraper, you might not be able to get into map and take control like how you do on coastline or night heaven some maps it's more about the utility play clearing people out of these corners with nades candelas smokes and flashes and also opening vaults same goes for outback when you open the vault then there's no room to take unless you want to go for the execute because you're one step close to sight so it's better to get rid of shields keybars and then push and just take gunfights this game we were three and our two randoms played it beautifully they only focused on getting up the staircase while we are flashing and cutting off top of the stairs once it's 3v1 you gotta chill down and play together don't run like idiots, slow down. Nowadays, CG is more about taking gunfights. There's no longer the term I'm support player. Yes, you are, but you should have positive KD top fragging for your team. But what I'm saying is make sure to do it smart. Do the basics and take the gunfights when you have to. And when you can't, plant the diffuser and play post plant. Yeah, he's in garage, in garage, in garage. He's in, he's in garage. You have located I don't know if he can jump through the, the holes, he's holding. Wait, I'm going the other side. <laughs> Do I this shit? And bridge room on the door. Faulted up. He's behind the shield. Wait, can, can you go? I'm going to use it right here. Just plant on my ass. Just plant. In bridge room again? Okay, two guys. Stay here on the. Hold on. Don't peek. Don't peek. Don't peek. Don't peek. When he gets close, we kill him together. Hold right side. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> on the set, on the set. He's on side, yeah? Yeah. Close, swinging, swinging, swinging. Nice to yes. go. Nice. Good job. I love you. <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone. Hope you found this video helpful and you can actually attack better with your random teammates. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until the next time, stay safe.